Welcome to their wedding ceremony. This evening in beautiful wine country. My name is Danny Paulson. I am uh, the officiant of the wedding, but I am also much more to Brian and Kate. I am also their realtor. <laughs> if you are looking to buy or sell a house in Sonoma County, I will be at table 11 at the reception and I brought plenty of cards, okay? Now in this place, we take ourselves out of the usual routines of daily living to witness a unique moment in the lives of Kate and Brian. We might look at the couple before us and be tempted to compare their love to the quality of our own relationships. Brian and Kate's love is so stinking cute that I highly advise you all do not make this comparison. When I'm with you. Brian, uh, you may recall the first time that we met. Kate uh, was at home and she was getting ready to go out on a date. And uh, we were having a dinner party with our closest friends. And I mentioned that Kate was going out with what we thought may have been a pretty solid prospect on the line. And. Brian walked in the door. Brian was met with a barrage of questions that any average guy would have crumpled under the weight of it or just turned around and walked out the door, but not Brian. We are so happy that we didn't scare Brian away. The day we met will never leave my memory. He walked out from around the tasting room bar at Landmark and I gave Ellie and Ashley the eyebrow raising Whoa. Look, <laughs> they knew and I knew. They tried their best to be wing women and suggested that we should be teammates in a game of bocce. Little did they know, teammates play on opposite ends of the court. <laughs> Fortunately, we switched up teams very quickly, got to talking, and yada, 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 here we are today. <laughs> I know, I skipped the best yada, part. Yada, the best part. <laughs> You look gorgeous, baby. Thank you. Look at you. <laughs> Are you ready? I am ready. After Brian asked me to be his best man on the... Uh, ski slopes of Mount Rose, I sat down to start writing the speech. And I thought of the word brother. We can be born into the same family, but it doesn't technically make us brothers. It only makes us siblings. It hasn't always been sunshine and rainbows. We've had to work at it. But I couldn't be more honored to call Brian my brother. Even though he is younger than me, he has helped me grow and continue to help me grow to, into the man that I am today. I can only hope that I have been half of a brother and an, an inspiration as he has been to me. Brian has done definitely extremely well in his profession in the, wine, in the wine industry. He has taught me that Carl Rossi and Yellowtail wines are not adequate wines to put in my camel pack when I go skiing. <laughs> How I found you, God only knows. Must have shaped you from a dream Made you so I wouldn't be alone I'll be lifted on your wings I'm so proud of the woman that Kate has become and feel truly honored that she asked me to be here in this role, supporting her and Brian officially, legally, starting the next chapter of their lives. So Kate and I were raised by a commune. <laughs> Our collective of parents taught us the important things in life, kindness, community, how to take care of ourselves and others, how to throw a raging party. Our parents, Rob and Ann, right over here. Uh, 
they've been really amazing examples of what a loving relationship looks yes. like. This one my grandma gave me forever ago. She probably doesn't even remember. It's just it was just like a birthday gift. Yeah. But it's my birthstone. And then this one was my Nana's ring. Um, she passed, but the four mm -hmm. stones are um, the birthstones of her kids. I will carry the values that our grandparents have instilled in our parents. The same ones that our parents have taught us. The values that we share today and will teach our children together in the future. I promise to love our children the way I know you will. Because if there's one thing that I'm confident in, it's the love you showed me as a boyfriend and a fiance and will continue to show me as a husband and someday a father. From the time she was a child to the time she was an adult, and a thousand tomorrows, Kate has always wanted to help people. People who aren't as blessed as we are in some ways. People who have, are disadvantaged and have challenges, physical challenges, mental challenges. Kate has always been there to try to help. And she brings such joy and empathy and love that she enriches their lives as just as they enrich hers. And they've been together for a few years and when Kate was away at school through her college and graduate program that's you know it's two hours away and it could have been you know all right well this is kind of tough we've got years ahead but Brian he was so unselfish and so loving and supportive and gave Kate the time that she needed to focus on her studies and was there through it all. And that was the mark, and it really defines the type of guy that Brian is. And I'm so proud to have you as a son-in-law. Today I take you to be my wife and my companion for life. Because of your love, I feel that we can face anything together, and for this alone I promise myself to you. I never could have imagined that I would uh, get to spend my life with someone as wonderful and as caring as you are. I love your passion, your determination, and your perseverance. Uh, you maintain that in everything that you do. Uh, it has been and always will be an inspiration to me. When we really got into dating, I told you that I was looking for someone to be my complement rather than a supplement, and you were that and so much more to me. You are my very best friend, you are the love of my life, and my true soulmate. As my soulmate, you balance and complete me. Ryan, you allow me to be exactly who I'm meant to be without hesitation, and you have never asked me to change. Thank you for being patient and gentle, passionate and thoughtful. You inspire me, you challenge me, you nurture me, and you still make me feel like a supermodel even when I'm in sweatpants finishing off a tub of ice cream. <laughs> Can I be close to you? I know that relationships take work and I will never stop working for us. I will offer my creativity and whimsical spirit to complement your logical and analytical mind. I promise to continue to spontaneously break out into songs, whether that's a morning wake-up call, Christmas carols in July, or a Disney song. Who put the Gladden Gladiator? Hercules! <laughs> they planned that. So we didn't do it. We didn't do that. We, yeah, no, we, that was good. We didn't talk. Uh, sorry. <laughs> been all ready I know that was good. <laughs> I will always be your biggest cheerleader. 
And when you're being extra competitive, I'll just win instead. <laughs> but in reality, you're my life partner and my teammate. And knowing that, we will always be victorious. Except I don't want to be your bocce teammate. <laughs> From hello, what's your name? To all I know, I'll never be the same. Oh, you've been changing me. Been trying so hard not to play the fool. We'd like to thank everybody for coming today. It means so much to us to have everyone we love in all one room. It is quite humbling to experience uh, and actually get to realize that we have friends and family uh, who love us so much. So to everyone who arrived, it's greatly appreciated. Ann and Rob, uh, I feel honored that you guys have taken me into your family. And my sincere wish uh, is that uh, our home that Kate and I are uh, slowly building uh, will actually basically be as welcoming and as full of love and happiness as yours has. And to my folks, it is through their constant example of love and companionship that I hope to live up to. Uh, but I hope that uh, what we and uh, what Kate and I are building uh, makes you guys proud. Uh, and I did want to thank uh, the beautiful bridesmaids. I think everyone can agree they look gorgeous tonight. Uh, you guys did a fantastic job, and thank you so much for being uh, making sure that Kate got there on time as well. So thank you to my uh, my groomsmen. Uh, there is an unwritten rule, I think, uh, in wedding etiquette that states nobody should look better than the groom, and I think we can all say that they stuck to that letter to the T. But uh, this wedding would not be anything without you guys. Uh, I couldn't ask for better friends, and to know that you guys were standing up there with me today, and also up with me uh, around 10 o'clock today, mostly sober this morning, which was good, uh, to help do uh, a lot of the prep work. Thank you guys very much. Kate. You look absolutely stunning tonight. I am so happy you're married to such a loving and compassionate individual, and to be able to call myself her husband is a, a true honor. Let's again to Kate. on the formidable task of being with an O'Donnell girl and all of the chaos, loving harassment, and fun that comes with it. But more importantly, I'm so happy that you and Kate have found each other. Your relationships already survived many of life's challenges, so marriage is going to be a cakewalk. Brian is definitely one lucky guy to have you in his life. I am more than happy to call you my sister and want to be the, one of the first to welcome you to the family. Here is to a sweetheart, a bottle, and a friend. The first beautiful, the second full, the last ever faithful. I love you guys. So come and take my Kate and, and Brian, they're embarking on a wonderful journey. And I, I ask you to um, please join me in congratulating them and wishing them the best for a long and happy life together. And I love them.
Brian, please place Kate's wedding band on her finger and repeat after me. I, Brian, take you, Kate. I, Brian, take you, Kate. To be my wife, to have and to hold. To be my wife, to have and to hold. <laughs> to patiently wait for you when you're late. <laughs> to patiently wait for you when, <laughs> when you're late. <laughs> Every single time we go anywhere. <laughs> Every single time we go anywhere. <laughs> From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better and for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I, Kate, take you, Brian. I, Kate, take you, Brian. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. To make your sandwiches. To make some sandwiches. <laughs> To teach you what can and cannot be put in the recycling bin. To teach you what can and cannot be put in the recycling bin. It's hard to learn. Over and over. <laughs> over and over. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better and for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. May you make a home together that is both sheltering and welcoming. When you outgrow that fantastic home I helped you buy, may you list it with me and sell it for top dollar. <laughs> may life's challenges be met together with courage and optimism. And may your days be filled with laughter, imagination, trust, friendship, and love. It is now my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife you may seal your vows with a kiss. For choosing me. I choose you for all of my yesterdays, especially my today, the days to come and beyond that. Our love transcends time. I promise to always give you my kisses, my hugs, my head scratches, my laughter, my tears, uh, my hopes, and also my fears. I promise to try new and strange foods with you, and I will, <laughs> big thing, <laughs> and I will always laugh at your cheesy puns. I promise to say I'm sorry when I'm wrong and forgive you in the very rare chance that you ever are. <laughs> I promise to always put on my boogie shoes when life may ever get you down. I promise to always encourage you to reach your goals and to live in a way that makes our families proud. I promise to be faithful to you, to be honest with you, and be patient with you, and to always try to warm, uh, warm your shockingly cold toes. <laughs> I promise to remember that neither one of us is perfect but I will strive to, remain, to remind myself of all the ways that we are perfect for each other. I will always hold you close because when you are near, I know that even though not everything is right with the world, everything is right with us. And most of all, I promise to love you openly, fiercely, and forever.